What's up, everybody? How's everyone doing out there in YouTube land, vape land? Yours truly, Maddie fucking Ice from Convicted Vapes, coming back at you with another honest hardware review for you, the motherfucking vaping public. That's fucking goddamn right. And I got something pretty cool tonight to review. It's going to be another Filipino box mod, of course. Now, I do some American stuff, too. Come on, guys. It's going to be a Filipino box mod, a dual series box mod, fully mechanical, by MCV Philippines, Masterpiece Custom Vapes in the Philippines. And this is their new series box mod. I think it's Joy Soriano, who is the owner of MCV. I think it's Joy Soriano's first series box mod. And this bad boy is called... The Elite Box Mod, that's right, because it is Elite. And uh, I'm going to be doing a full review on this thing. Um, I got this for free. Joy Suriano from MCV Philippines sent this to me for free. I didn't pay for it. That will not change my opinion of the device. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'm going to be giving you a website where you could purchase this. I'm going to be giving you a description, I'm going to be giving you a price, then I'm going to take the camera down, and I'm going to fully disassemble this box mod, break the whole thing down, show you all the close-ups, I'm going to show you how to put it back together, then I'm going to take the camera back up, and I'm going to vape it and talk more about it, and tell you my honest opinion of this device. Oh, she's a chucking tits, guys. She's chucking the tits. Woo! Anyway, without further ado... <coughs> oh, oof. I gotta take a sip of something here. I'm, uh... Ooh, that thing dries you out a little bit. Whew. Now, this is a series box mod, guys, so for you newbies that are watching this, this probably isn't for you. This is an advanced user device. This is running in series instead of parallel, so this is at 8.4 volts on a full charge, as opposed to your normal 4.2 volts on an average parallel box. So I suggest you do some research about Ohm's Law before you try building uh, and using this device. But this description and this price is coming off of, that's right, DragonsDenVapor.com, one of my favorite websites. Uh, Pete Broody, the guy that runs this website, is a great fucking guy, great customer service, and this is one badass fucking website. This is the go-to website for Filipino hardware. All your hardware. He's got fucking... I mean, he's got everything on here. Starter kits, coils, spare parts, all types of spare parts for all types of rare box mods. Um, rebuildable tanks, addies, RDAs, RTAs, tube mods, variable voltage mods, box mods. He's got juice. He's even got fresh roasted coffee on here. That's right. Dragon's Den Vapor has fresh roasted coffee, and I heard it's fucking good. Pete, I'm still waiting for a bag of that fucking coffee, buddy. Don't think I forgot about that. But anyway, basically what it says is Elite Series Box Mod by Masterpiece Custom Vapes. Dragon's Den is pr proud to present the Elite Hybrid Hybrid Series Box Mod. So not only is this a series, it's got a hybrid 510 connection. So you're going to want to use an atomizer with a protruding 510 pin that sticks out. If, you're, if your 510 pin on your atomizer is recessed into the threads, do not fucking use it on this device because you will hard short your batteries and bad stuff can happen. Um, so, Dragon's Den is proud to present the Elite Hybrid Series Box Mod by MCV Philippines. This is MCV's first series mod and it's sure to be a powerhouse. Series connection, dual 18650 battery configuration, Pure copper contacts, hybrid top cap, Delrin body to minimize heat, top firing button with Delrin insulation, 
serialized emblem and series configuration engraving. So there's an engraving on the front plate to let you know which way to put your batteries in, positive and negative, which I'll show you on the close-ups. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Smooth threaded contact pins for easy battery replacement. One of the strongest hitting series box mod made only in the Philippines. You want power? Try the Elite box mod and be one of the brave vapors to take this on. It says vape safe and uh, the price is $279, $280. Now I've seen this on other websites for about $260. That's about... Um, well, I shouldn't even say I've seen it on other websites because I think all the websites I saw were about $280. If you buy it directly from MCV Philippines, if you contact Joy Soriano, it's about $260, and that's with, like, ship. It's going to be about $280 no matter what you do. So this is a very fair price, $280. Not cheap, but not super expensive for something um, that is a kind of limited production and uh, very high quality. Um, but this is not available right now. This will... I talked to Peter Eddy. He's out of stock at the moment. But he's waiting for a fresh batch of these box mods. So within the next week or two, he should have these back on the website. So keep checking. If you email him through the website, he will reserve a box for you if you pre-order it and pay for it. Um, to get your hands on one of these things. So yeah, Dragon's Den Vapor. Awesome. Fuck. Check this website out. It's fucking great. I love this website. One of my, probably my favorite website of all time. Um, so that's about it, guys. And uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the camera down. I'm going to show you the close-ups on this box. I'm going to break the whole thing down, put it back together so you could understand how it works and how to clean it and all that good stuff. Then I'm going to take the camera back up, vape this thing, and give you some more of my opinion on this device. So sit fucking tight and let's get this shit rolling. All right, you crazy motherfuckers. We are up close with the MCV Masterpiece Custom Vapes Elite Series Hybrid Box Mod. And she is shiny, guys. Look at that polishing on that front plate. Couple little fingerprint marks. She is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, that front plate. But the rest of the body besides this front plate is mostly Delrin. It's all Delrin, the body. And this is a beautiful beautiful piece of CNC machine Delrin so this will not get hot from your batteries getting warm as you can see on the front plate we have MCV Philippines elite box mod with that fucking badass skull with the army helmet on sweet sweet engravings very deep engravings and uh, usually this is serialized see right there in the helmet where it says fuck the FDA <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, usually there's a serial number there, but Joy was kind enough to ask me if I wanted anything engraved on this, and I said, yeah, you know what, you know, she was toying with the notion of putting Convicted Vapes or Matty Ice on the front, I said, nah, you know what, I have enough boxes with Matty Ice on it and, uh, Convicted Vapes, why don't you put, uh, fuck the FDA on this thing? She said, yeah, you sure? I said, yeah, fuck the FDA, that sounds about right. So, there you have it. It's the Fuck the FDA Elite Series Box Mod by MCV Philippines. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, there's markings on this front plate. So, this would correspond to your batteries. You can see the positive and the negative markings, negative and positive. This is in series configuration, the engravings. So, your positive on this side would go up towards the top cap, and your negative on this side would go up towards the top cap. And um, this plate is being held. It's milled right into the Delrin, and it's being held on with Phillips head screws. Beautiful, beefy Phillips head screws. If we flip it around, the back is just Delrin. And on the top cap, you see we have a series hybrid box mod here. This is a hybrid 510 connection. Um, the top cap is all copper. The button 
is Delrin with the brass housing. So this button will not get hot, being that it's Delrin on the top. The housing might get a little bit warm. I haven't had any problems with hot button whatsoever. Um, I've been running pretty low builds on here, 0 0.23, 0 0.24. I actually, when I'm vaping right now, before I took the camera down, I was vaping a 0 0.2 uh, or a 0 0.32, excuse me. So that was pretty... Um, high resistance, but I, I've put some low stuff on this box before and the button does not get hot and it's a beautiful Beautiful fucking button. Look at the engraving on that Delrin and That is engraved that is laser engraved MCV Philippines elite Beautiful chunk of Delrin as you can see we have two Allen screws in the top of this thing and you can see that's the battery down there. I didn't take the battery out in the 510 connection. Uh, if we flip it down to the bottom, we have two beautiful negative battery plugs with plenty of surface area for your fingers to go. There's plenty of room to get your fingers on there. Nice, huge finger grooves to fit your fingers in. And as you can see, there's four battery vent holes on each battery plug for a grand total of eight battery vent holes and the entire bottom cap the housing is made of copper as well so it's all copper connections on this thing and the bottom plate is being held in by two allen screws as well same size as the top and this box is absolutely beautiful look at that engraving man Beautiful piece of polished brass. She's a fucking gorgeous box. And she's not too heavy. She's got some weight. Because it's a giant chunk of copper on the top of this thing. And, you know, I really like how she put a cut right here. You can see she did this, this angled cut in the copper. So your thumb rests gently right on the button. It's not just a sharp... As opposed to this end, it's not just a sharp edge. She milled it down so it's nice and comfy for your thumb to sit on and hit the button. And this is a spring inside this button. I'll show you when I take the whole thing apart. It's a spring button. You can upgrade it to a magnet if you want. They are available. And she also is going to have silver upgrade, silver contact kit for this thing. I'm not sure how much they are, but it will be available. Um, now, this button, guys... I have to fucking tell you, even though it's just a spring in here, it's a beautiful spring they're using, which I'll show you. And this button has got to be the nicest, I repeat, the nicest top fire button I have ever felt in my life. It's absolutely gorgeous, this button. As with all the MCV buttons, hitting this button is, you can compare it to driving a Cadillac. That's all I could say. It's absolutely beautiful action on this button i love it so we're going to break this entire box down piece by piece the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to remove our batteries we're going to go ahead and start by removing these negative contact pins on the bottom we're just going to unscrew them by hand very easy to get your fingers in there very comfortable the threading is beautiful nice big beefy threads very easy to unthread and to thread these on. They don't want to cross thread. They're done right. Beautiful threads. And there is, <clears throat> this is the negative pin that goes on the side of your atomizer, the 510 hybrid side. So this has a protruding piece that pushes up on your battery. And then in return, your battery pushes up and puts pressure on the 510 pin on your atomizer, holding it on place, in place. So what you would do is screw your atomizer on, get it where you want it, and then tighten this battery plug, and your atomizer will stay exactly where you put it. But anyway, let's finish taking these batteries out. The threads are beautiful on this. Gorgeous machining. Joy from MCV did a fucking lovely job on the machining. As you can see, these two battery plugs are different. This battery plug is the side that pushes up on the battery that's hitting your atomizer. And this is the side that pushes up on the battery that's hitting the other end of the button. The button contact. So these are two different. You can't really mix them up. 
four battery vent holes in each side. Like I said, we're going to put these to the side. Pop out our batteries. <clears throat> and bam, you can see that 510 hybrid connection goes straight through. So it's direct atomizer to battery contact with this as any other um, hybrid mod. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our Allen screw and we're going to remove this bottom cap. All I'm going to do is stick my Allen screwdriver in here, remove these bottom Allen screws. Again, machining is fucking flawless on this device. The threads are so nice. They're just buttery smooth, these threads. And he's using... MCV is using very nice Allen screws here. Let me grab my tweezers so I can show you guys these Allen screws. Very nice stainless steel screws. Definitely quality. Without a doubt, quality machining and quality <clears throat> materials they're using on these boxes. <clears throat> So now that we have those two screws out of the bottom, we can go ahead and just remove that bottom section, that bottom housing, and there is the housing. Nice beefy chunk of copper. You could polish this all up after you take it out with a cloth or some polishing paste, whatever you want to do. Threads are gorgeous. We'll put this to the side. Now we'll go to the top and we'll remove, we're going to remove those two Allen screws. Again, threading on the top screws are beautiful. And these screws are a little bit shorter on the top. They're a little bit shorter than the ones we had on the bottom. So you can't get them mixed up. Go ahead and remove the other one. There you go. get some shit out of the way here so now that we have those screws out we could just remove that top cap just like that and here is the top of the device now this button is very easy to remove you can see that is the contact that fires the box and there's an o-ring a rubber o-ring insulator on there so we're going to take our tweezers and just pull that bad boy out like this now when you guys are removing this to clean the copper you want to make sure when you're reassembling the box that you put this o-ring back in because if you do not put this o-ring back in there this box will auto fire when you put it back together and that will not be good so very fucking beefy ch chunk of rubber here Beefy ass O ring insulator they give you. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Huge, heavy ass chunk of copper for the top cap and the hybrid 510 connection. And you could see that positive contact is copper. And uh, you could actually get a, um, a socket on there, believe it or not. <laughs> but let's just undo it with our fingers. We're going to hold the fire button in and just unscrew that contact like so. And there is your fire button contact. You could polish that all up once you have it removed. Very nice chunk of high quality copper there. And once that's out, the button just pops right out like so. There is the top cap button housing and 510 connection. Gorgeous chunk of copper. Look at the fucking machining. It's just perfect. 
The machining is beautiful. It's such a pleasure to see machining like this, really. This is this is some quality work right here. Quality work. And it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. We'll put that to the side. Here is the fire button spring. Now, it's just a simple little spring, but compared to a lot of other springs I've seen on some of these Filipino mods, this is gorgeous. And you can upgrade it to a magnet, like I said. But this spring has beautiful action on it. I mean, I love the feel of this spring in the button. I actually will not be upgrading this to magnets, magnets because I like the feel of this spring so much. And last but not least, here we have the fire button, which is Delrin with the copper housing. Nice, thick, beautifully machined chunk of copper. With the Elite MCV Philippines Elite logo right in the Delrin. Absolutely fucking beautiful. I love the square fire button and I love, love the action on the button. Like I said, firing this box with this button is comparable to driving a Cadillac, if that makes any sense to you. <clears throat> so there you have it. That's all the uh, internals pretty much. The only thing we have left... This is a pretty much an empty shell, a nice, beautiful chunk of CNC machine Delrin. All we have to do now is remove this front plate, and that is a Phillips head screwdriver. So we're just going to go ahead and take our Phillips head. Well, I'm going to need a smaller one here. Give me one second here, guys. There we go. We're going to go ahead and undo these Phillips head screws. One. And two. And this plate should just pop right out. There it is. That's what it looks like behind the plate. And you can see the CNC machine marks there. Gorgeous chunk of Delrin he used. Beautiful. We'll put that to the side. And here is the brass front plate. So you could take this plate out and polish it when it patinas. It's awesome. You don't have to keep it in the box. So if you guys want to use polishing paste, it's not going to get stuck in the corners and the edges. You could take the plate out to polish it to keep the box looking nice. So let's line up all these parts here. And we'll take a look at all the parts that went into the making of this box. It's pretty simple. There's not too much going on here. That's it. That's the entire box, guys. So hopefully that helps you out if you want to know how to clean this thing. <clears throat> or if you're just interested in what the internals look like, hopefully this did you justice. But I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this box. Very simple. We'll start how we... Uh, ended last time. We'll put this plate back on. We're just going to throw those two Phillips head screws right back in this brass plate. Screw it right into the Delrin. And there you go, nice and secure. Everything's beautifully machined. I mean, it's perfect. The inlay, nothing sticking up out the sides. You know, it's perfectly level, the plate. Beautiful craftsmanship. I have to say, this thing is designed flawlessly. So we'll put that plate back on. We're going to put back in our fire button. We're going to... And this fire button... You can see the leg that the fire button contact screws into. It's off to one side more. So you can only put this button in the one way. It won't go in the other way. We're going to go ahead and stick our spring right in that housing. Like so. Slide our fire button right in here. Hold it in, flip it over, 
We're going to take our fire button contact. We're going to screw it right back in by hand. Look at the threads, guys. Look at how fucking buttery smooth those threads are. What a fucking gorgeous machine job they did on this. And there you go. That's what you want to see. Now, most importantly, remember to pop this O-ring back on. Because if you do not put this O-ring back on, this box will auto-fire. Make sure that is back on there. I know the first time I took this apart, I forgot to put the O-ring back on. I put it together, screwed my Addy on, and it started auto-firing. And I was like, oh, forgot to put the O-ring on. So there you go. We'll go ahead and pop... <clears throat> this right back on. Now there's a certain way to do this, okay? You want to see the fire button should be over the side with the negative marking on the top. See the negative marking right above my thumb? You want to make sure the fire button side goes over that negative marking and you want to make sure the hybrid 510 side is over the positive marking on the front plate or else it's going to be backwards We're going to go ahead and take our shorter screws. We're going to put them right back in the top. Tighten those bad boys up don't have to over tighten them just make sure they're a little bit snug and you're good to go that is the top cap 510 hybrid assembly and the button assembly done now all we have to do is slide back in our bottom negative pin housing and you're gonna want to make sure there's two sides see there's a flat side where the screws go and then there's a milled out side with the holes. You want to make sure those are facing outside the box. So the flat side goes into the box. We're going to pop that in like that. Make sure it's flush. Take our Allen screws. Snug those bad boys right back up. Everything on this box just screams quality it really fucking does and bam there you go that's pretty much it all we have left is those battery plugs i'm going to leave them out for now because i'm going to show you how to put the batteries in obviously like i said there's markings on the plate you're going to match those markings up so now what i do is i'm going to put i have some freshly charged uh samsung 25rs here the positive i'm going to match up to the uh the positive on top, I'm going to throw that on there. The negative, I'm going to match up to the negative on the other side. So when you're left, you have one positive sticking out the bottom and one negative sticking out the bottom. And the side with the negative battery that's sticking in more, you're going to want to put the longer negative pin in. You're going to want to use this pin on that side. And we're going to start to thread it in, but we're not going to screw it in all the way. And I'm going to show you why. You want to put your Addy in first before you screw it all the way in. We're going to take our other negative plate, battery plug, whatever you want to call it. We can tighten this one all the way. Because that's just pushing the battery into that rubber O-ring in the inside. So we could snug that up. This one we're going to leave a little loose because we're going to put our Addy on it. In this case, I'm using the Twisted Messes RDA because I didn't have any of my MCV um, RDAs built with a um, with the series connection so what we're gonna do it matches pretty well though I got the copper sleeve it's actually a V1 Twisted Messes copper sleeve on the on the V2 Twisted Messes body and deck so we're gonna screw that on I like to leave a little bit of a gap in between the RDA and the mod so I don't scratch up the top Leave a little bit of a gap. We're going to line it up where we want it. See, there's a slight gap. I know it's hard to see, but it's there. Once we lined up the RDA where we want it, we're going to go ahead and tighten 
the negative battery plug on that side and that's going to push up onto the battery and the battery is going to push into the 510 pin on the RDA and hold it in place. Snug that up and bam. As soon as you tighten that plug, the RDA isn't going anywhere. And we have action. So I'm going to take the camera back up and we're going to vape this thing and talk a little bit more about this fucking beautiful box mod we got right here. Sit tight. <clears throat> All right, guys. So hopefully that helped you out. Um, if you're looking to purchase one of these and you wanted to see the internals and how it comes apart, or if you just wanted to know how this thing um, looks on the inside, hopefully that helped you out. But I have a M-Turk alien coil built in here. It's series coils. They're gigantic series coils aliens I have in here. They ohm out at about .32. Like I said, this is a series box mod, guys. For you guys that are new to this, you want to make sure you do a little bit of research on Ohm's Law. You want to understand how Ohm's Law works because you can't build too low on this. It is not safe for the battery. You have to make sure your batteries are the correct batteries. You want batteries that support a lot of amps. You want to use at least 25 to 30 amp continuous ratings with your batteries. Samsung 25Rs are great. I use them in series boxes all the time. Um... But yeah, I'm going to be vaping Convicted Vapes Heavy Metal, some of my favorite juice of all time on top of this thing. And let's see how this motherfucker vapes. She's pissed off. I can tell you that. She's angry. She is angry. This thing dries your cotton out super quick. It just hits... This hits hard. This box is pissed the fuck off. There we go. Alright guys, here we go. The MCV Philippines Masterpiece Custom Vapes Elite Series Hybrid Box Mod. Check it out. God damn. It's hard to take longer than two second pulls on this. This box, this thing hits like a fucking truck. God damn. Oh man, I need a drink again here. I know guys, I was dicked over after midnight. No fucking Arizona green tea. I'm drinking low calorie Gatorade. What the fuck, man? I know. <clears throat> it's all fucked up, but anyway, this is a great fucking mod, guys. I love this box. Um, would I pay $280 of my own hard-earned money to purchase this box if I lost or damaged this box? Yes. Yes, I would pay $280. It's way worth it. Dare I say that this is the nicest fully mechanical series box mod that I've ever owned. This is it. I am dubbing this the king of Filipino series box mods right now. MCV Philippines, Masterpiece Custom Vapes, Joy Suriano, everyone at MCV, you did a fantastic job on this. The box quality, the box, the, the quality of the box mod is a 10 out of 10. Um, the performance is a 10 out of 10. The looks is a 10 out of 10. Um, this is just winning all the way around. This thing is bad fucking ass. 
This is an easy two thumbs up. I cannot pick out one thing I don't like about this. Very comfortable. The top fire button, I know some people are weird with top fire buttons, but this is very comfy due to the fact that he did that cutaway right there. Your thumb just falls right into the place. You barely have to touch the button. And the action on the button is beautiful. This is how all top fire buttons should feel. This is the pinnacle of top fire mechanical mod buttons right here. It's it's like the button's actually fun to hit. It's like it's fun. I know it's crazy. It sounds nuts. It's fun to hit this button. It's beautiful. It it works flawlessly. This is a 10 out of 10. Great job. Two thumbs up. For you diehard series box mod fans, this is a must-have for you guys. It's a must-have. Go out and grab yourselves one of these motherfuckers, because this is bad ass. Great job, MCV Philippines. Joy Suriano, thank you very much for sending this to me uh, to review. It's been a fucking absolute pleasure owning and using this and reviewing it. I love this box. Hands down my favorite fully mechanical series box mod to date. Easily. I could say that without any fear in my heart. This is absolutely splendid. Two thumbs up, Matty Ice, Convicted Vape, seal of approval on the MCM Elite Series Hybrid Box Mod. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a ton of juice reviews uh, in the near future, a ton of hardware reviews, atomizer reviews. I got a whole big-ass box of new products to review. As far as juice goes, I have mountains of that, too. So stay tuned to the Convicted Vapes channel, and I'll get that going. Uh, but remember to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Hit that fucking subscribe button, please. Check me out on Instagram at The Real Convicted Vapes. Check out the Convicted Vapes e-juice at vvvapes.com. $29.99 for a 60 mil bottle. Three flavors, delicious juice. That's all I got for you. Until next time, keep calm, vape on, and most importantly, never forget, take it fucking deep. Heavy fucking metal, guys. Catch you on the flip side.